there, there, there's, there's your instruction. You got to cast them down. Not run with it. Not rehearse it. But what? Cast it down. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Everything that comes into your mind that you know is against the Bible, it's against the word. This is why you got to be, this is why you got to know the word. Yes. How you going to know it's against the word if you don't know the word? Well. Some, folk, some folk do stuff wrong, they don't even know it's wrong. You're right. So the word has to take preeminence in your life. Cast down imagination in every high thing. If the Bible said do it and your mind is telling you don't do it, cast it down. Not trying to make an excuse why it's okay that you don't do it. Amen. Because we try to justify yes, sir. our sin. You're right. Yes, sir. We justify our shortcomings. Yes. And because your thought patterns all it make perfect sense to you, but to God you sound like boo-boo the fool. Because you're supposed to cast down everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. So if it's, if, if it's against God's word, that, that's the measuring stick of whether your thought is right or wrong. If God says it's wrong, it's wrong. If it agrees and lines up with the word of God, it's right. Now how many of you know a lot of our thoughts do not agree with the word of God and does not line up with the word of God? Amen. Can we just be honest right yes, there? Sir. Makes perfect sense to you. You're feeling it in your flesh and you're looking at it through the lens of what you've been through. And it fits your philosophy and your ideology, but it does not fit the word of God. Amen. And anything that is any knowledge that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, any high thing, what do you got to do to that thing? Then look at the very next phrase. Bringing into captivity what? Every thought. No, some of your thoughts. Every thought. Every thought. Bringing into captivity every thought. Bringing into captivity every thought. Arrest your thought. When the thought is ungodly, when the thought is against God, when when the thought is depression, when the thought is panic, when the thought is fear, when the thought is anxiety, when the thought is disobedience, when the thought is rebellion. Yes, sir. When the thought is don't do what Pastor said. Mm -hmm. When the thought is I don't need to go there. When the thought is I don't need to give. Oh, come on, talk to me. Yes, sir. Bring it into captivity every thought that is against the knowledge of God. And you bring the thought to what? The obedience of Christ. Obedience of Christ. You change that thought and make it in a line with obedience. My thought says this, but God's word says that. And that's what we're going to do. Now you don't, know, listen. Now see, that don't sound like a lot to you. Because you ain't really excited about that. I, I, listen, I pastor Antioch. I know when Antioch is excited. Y'all not excited. <laughs> God just gave you a battle plan to come out of what you are in. Yes. And you ain't got enough sense. See, this is how crazy we are. We ain't got enough sense to know that he just gave us the blueprint, yes. the key and the outline, how to come out of what you're dealing Hallelujah. with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can live, if you can live, if you can live, if you can live from, from verse 3 to verse 5, two verses. If you could just live them two verses right there, do you know how victorious you would be? Two verses. Imagine what would happen if you stayed under the poor long enough to learn a chapter. A whole book. Oh, come on, somebody talk to me. Two verses could revolutionize your life. Can I tell you, most of us do not live those two chapters. Two verses. We don't bring into captivity every thought. Some of y'all ain't brought it in right now. Right now, while I've been preaching, 
brought the thought into captivity. Well. Because you're still trying to justify. Yeah. Some of y'all been in and out of paying attention to what I said tonight. Yes, sir. I know. Right. And I'm trying to save your life. Mm. Jesus. It's how your mind. Since this sermon, we're gonna, your mind done went. Jesus. Then it popped back in. You done missed half of what I said. Then it swings back out again. So you got 